Ignition sequence starts. Three, two, one, zero. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. We are incredibly excited to be able to host this incredible exhibit called Destination Moon, and it profiles the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. And the key feature of the exhibit is the Columbia capsule that went all the way to the moon and brought the astronauts, three of them, safely home to the Earth. It's amazing. It's kind of hard to put into words what you feel when you're looking at it. And I think people are just amazed at the small vehicle that held three astronauts for eight days. So it's, it's one of awe and excitement. There's 20 other artifacts with the show, like Buzz Aldrin's helmet and his gloves, which have the little cheat sheet on them that his play-by-play, -play, what he's supposed to do once he gets on the surface of the moon, like take photo of footprint, you know, things like that, which just make it that much more personal. We have a very special loan from Buzz Aldrin of a small little piece of plastic and a pen that were critical in a, a moment on the lunar surface. They discovered a small piece of plastic on the floor of the lunar module. It was the switch that was needed to start the ignition process to launch off of the lunar surface and reconnect with the Columbia. They didn't use the words, Houston, we have a problem. It may in fact have been the first example of, Houston, we have a problem. Buzz Aldrin ultimately took his pen, he stuck it into the hole where the switch was and used the pen to lever the switch. So th the result is there is a decided dent in the upper part of the pen, but everything worked out well and the astronauts were able to reconnect with the Columbia and return home safely. Not only do we have the exhibit portion here, we also have another 8,000 square feet of exhibitry taking you back into the 60s time frame, learning about the Cold War and the space race and then also some uh, featured uh, elements of the St. Louis story, particularly around McDonnell aircraft. On December 7, 1961, NASA Manned Spacecraft Center announced that McDonnell would develop a two-man spacecraft to be named after the constellation Gemini. There's a rich history and a rich uh, community of retirees that worked on the space program that still remember it. And it's exciting for us to be able to highlight that and profile it, not just having the national prominence of being able to host the exhibit here, but also to be able to celebrate the great work of the American heroes that played a big role in this process of allowing us to win the race to space. One, liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. People will say, it's not rocket science. But uh, here at the St. Louis Science Center, it is rocket science. That's what we're gonna be talking about for the next few months. So if you're interested in rocket science, for all the people that hear that and say, well, it's not rocket science, come here, take a look at the exhibit and see if you have the right stuff. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Mark, mode one, Charlie. One, Charlie. And ignition. Houston, thrusters go, all engines, you're looking good. Hi, Roger, you're loud and clear, Houston.